good morning students and welcome to today's maths class so in the previous class we were doing addition right so this is what we have done previously so we saw addition of two digit numbers to solve addition of two digit numbers first what you do is you arrange the numbers in column form that is as tens and ones okay and then you add the ones place first then add the tens place so to add 20 plus 27 you add 0 plus 7 first which is 7 then add tens place which is 2 plus 2 4 so 20 plus 27 is 47 so you group all the ones together and then the tens together all right then we saw regrouping changing tens to ones so we saw how to change tens to ones so whenever you have the ones place uh, when you sum them up and you get an answer which is greater than 9 or any two digit number what you do you regroup them as ones and tens so if you get 15 then you write it as 5 ones and 1 10 and we also know, saw that if uh, 10 ones together make a 10 and using the concept we made making tens and ones we uh, solved a few problems then we saw addition of three digit numbers without regrouping so in without regrouping what you do first you write line up all the ones tens and hundreds vertically in a column form as shown here like this and then you start with the ones first you add the ones write the answer in the ones column then you move on to the tens place you add all the tens write the answer in the tens column and then add the hundreds and write the answer you get in the hundreds column okay so this is what we have studied up till now in addition right so today what we are going to do is we are going to go further and study regrouping ones and tens so what does that mean now whenever you have a uh, uh, adding two numbers okay so when you add two numbers for example six plus four okay when i add six plus four we get a ten so right so in one place or in a place where you chart in a particular place you cannot write a number greater than nine we have seen that right so what you do we change that answer into tens and ones how we have learnt before then what you do you write the ones in the ones column and then carry over the tens to the tens column okay so you keep on doing that so let's see an example now here they've told add 438 plus 326 so they have said arrange the numbers vertically and add the ones tens and hundreds so we arrange numbers 438 so in ones place we have 8 tens place we write 3 and hundreds place i write 4 then 326 in ones place we have 6 tens place we have 2 and hundreds place i have 3 then so we wrote the numbers vertically now what you do you add the ones so in ones place i have 8 and 6 so 8 plus 6 is how much 8 plus 6 is 14 so what i'll do i'll group regroup that 14 as 1 10 and 4 ones okay we'll change that 14 as 1 10 and 4 ones and then what i'll do is i'll write 4 in the ones column like this 4 in the ones column and then i'll carry over the 1 10 which we have got to the tens column here like this okay so we write 4 and ones column and carry over the 1 to the tens place and then now what we do we add the tens so first you add the 110 which is there that is the carried over 1 plus 3 which is 4 and plus 2 which is 6 so you get 6 tens or 60 okay now since 6 is smaller than 9 you can just write 6 in tens column there's no need to carry over any further then in hundreds place i have 4 plus 3 so when i add 4 hundreds plus 3 hundreds i'll get seven hundreds so what you'll do we'll write seven in the hundreds column so this is how you regroup the ones and tens okay so let's see a few problems on regrouping ones and tens and then we'll move on to regrouping ten, ones tens and hundreds 
सो पेज नंबर नाइंटी नाइन इन योर मैथ इन योर बुक्स ओके सो हि फर्स्ट वन दे हैव शोन द फर्स्ट वन ओके वन हैज बीन डन फॉर यू सो लेट सी सेवन प्लस फाइव और फाइव प्लस सेवन इन वन प्लेस सो वेन यू एड दैट यू गेट ट्वेल्व वन सो ट्वेल्व वन यू रीग्रुप द मैथ वन टेन एंड टू वन यू राइट टू इन वन प्लेस एंड कैरी ओवर द वन टेन टू टेन प्लेस then we add the one which is carried over then two and three are there so one tens plus two three three plus three six tens we got so we'll write six in tens place then go to hundreds place so there we have three plus four which is seven right so the answer they've got is seven sixty two so let's do the first one six plus eight how much is six plus eight it is fourteen so what we'll do we got 14 ones so we'll regroup them as 1 10 and 4 ones we'll write 4 here in ones column and carry over 1 to tens here okay then we add this 1 plus 4 5 and 5 plus 4 9 and write 9 tens in tens column then moving on to hundreds column i have 5 plus 2 so 5 plus 2 is 7 so 794 is your answer Okay, then the second one. Now eight plus nine. How much is eight plus nine? You'll get seventeen. So seventeen is one ten and seven ones. So we write seven ones here. Carry over one. So two plus one is three, and three plus three is six. So we write six in under tens column, and then we add the hundreds. Three plus four, seven. So seven hundred and sixty-seven. Okay. Then next one six plus nine. So when you add six plus nine, you'll get fifteen. So that fifteen becomes one ten and five ones. So I'll write five ones here and carry over one ten here. Then this one plus three is four and four plus four is eight. Now in hundreds column I have three and here there is nothing. So we'll consider it as zero. So three plus zero is three. So three hundred and eighty five. Okay, then five plus nine. How much is five plus nine? It is fourteen, right? So fourteen is regrouped as one ten and four ones. We write four ones under ones column and one ten to carry over to tens. So here one plus six is seven. Seven plus two is nine, and then eight plus zero eight. So your answer is eight hundred and ninety four. Then next question, eight plus seven. How much is eight plus seven? It will be fifteen. So we write fifteen as one ten and five ones. So write five carry over one. Four plus one five. Five plus three eight. Okay. Then we have seven here. So seven hundred and eighty five. Okay. Next question, two plus. Eight. How much is two plus eight? It will be ten. So write zero in ones column. Carry over one to tens place. In tens place, we have seven plus one plus one, which is carried over. So now it will be seven plus one eight plus one nine. So nine. And in hundreds place, we have two and three, which is five. So your answer here is five hundred and ninety. Okay, it is five nine zero. Now what you do? Uh, okay, next one question. Uh, that is four sixty five plus one hundred and twenty nine. So nine plus five. How much is nine plus five? It will be fourteen. Okay, and then fourteen you regroup as one ten and four ones. So that four ones will come in ones place. One ten gets carried over to tens place. So in tens place, I have six tens and two tens plus the one ten carried over. So six plus two is eight plus the carried over one is nine. So we write nine in tens place. Then in hundreds place, I have four hundreds and one hundred. So four hundred plus one hundred is will be five hundred. So we we'll write. Five under the hundreds column. So the answer is five hundred and ninety-four. 
okay so the last two prob uh, last four problems that are there here these four problems 629 plus 147 538 plus 49 448 plus 323 519 plus 241 you try it on your own for homework now what we'll do is we'll move on to the next part that is regrouping ones tens and hundreds all right okay what do you mean by regrouping ones tens and hundreds so in regrouping ones and tens what we did we just regroup the ones place and the tens place now here we'll be regrouping ones tens and hundreds so when i add tens digits that is here they have taken the example of 378 plus 259 so first anywhere when you're adding the first rule is to write the numbers in vertical columns in their places so one tens and hundreds so you write eight of 378 and ones seven in tens and three in hundreds nine of 259 in ones five in tens and two in hundreds column okay then what you do you start adding the ones so you add the ones you get 8 plus 9 which is 17 we saw how to regroup ones and tens correct so 17 ones make 1 10 and 7 ones so we write 7 in the ones column and carry over 1 to 1 10 to tens column then what we do add the tens so first you add the one carried over plus 7 that is 8 plus 5 which is 13 now here when you observe 13 is greater than 9 you cannot write 13 in tens place so what you will do you will regroup that tens as uh, you will regroup 13 tens as 103 tens okay so you will regroup it as 100 plus 3 tens okay then we will write the 3 tens in tens column and carry over the 100 to hundreds column now we'll add the hundreds place so first we'll add the one which is carried over plus three and that is four and four plus two six so you'll get six hundred and thirty seven okay so this is how you regroup tens ones and hundreds it's quite similar to regrouping ones and tens okay so first when you get in tens place you get a number greater than nine what you will do you regroup it as hundreds and tens and the hundreds you carry over it to the hundreds place and then add it with the hundreds digit okay so this was regrouping ones tens and hundreds now we'll see a few questions in your textbook so page number 100 in your textbooks so practice time and the following one has been done for you okay so what is the first problem 478 plus 299 so first they have added the ones 8 plus 9 which is 17 then regrouped it as 1 10 and 7 ones written 7 and ones place carried over 1 to tens place then added all the tens plus the carryover so 7 plus 1 8 8 plus 9 17 okay then they have that 17 tens what they have done they have regrouped it as 107 ones. So, uh, 7 tenths, sorry, not ones, 107 tenths. So, 7 tenths they have written in tens column and carried over the 100 to hundreds place. So, that 100 plus 4 plus 2 will give you 7. So, your answer is 777. So, let's try and do the next one. So next question is 348 plus 497. Okay, so 49 uh so 348 plus 497. So 7 plus 8. How much is it? It is 15. So that 15 becomes 5 ones. And then we carry over the 110 to tens place. And then 1 plus 4, 5, and 5 plus 9, 14. So 14 tens here becomes 104 tens so here we write 4 and carry over the 100 so 3 plus 1 4 4 plus 4 8 so 845 okay so this was the first answer first we carried over to tens place we regrouped ones and tens then we regrouped tens and 
hundreds. Now, next one. 579 plus 298. Okay, so first one's place, 9 plus 8. How much is 9 plus 8? When you add them, you'll get 17, which is 17 ones. So, regrouping them, they'll become 110 and 7 ones. So, we'll write 7 ones in ones place, carry over 110 to tens place, then add the tens place. So, 7 plus 1, 8, 8 plus 9, 17. So, 17 tens this is. So, we'll regroup them as 107 tens. So, 7 tens we write in the tens column and the 100s we write in the hundreds column. So, then we add the hundreds place. So, 1 plus 5, 6 and 6 plus uh, 2. 8 okay so that is 877 is your answer then next one 395 plus 396 now again we start with the ones place that is 5 plus 6 how much is it it is 11 so 11 ones become 110 and 1 ones so here we write 1 ones then 110 we carry over so then adding the tens 9 plus 1 10 10 plus 9 19 so 19 tens we regroup it as 2 tens and hundreds as 109 tens so 9 tens that is there will write under the tens column and carry over the 100 to the hundreds column okay then that 100 we add it so it becomes 1 plus 3 4 and 4 plus 3 is 7. Correct. So that is 7. So your answer here is 791. And then moving on to the next one 567 plus 185. So how much that will be? So 7 plus 5. First add the ones place. So 7 plus 5 is 12. So 2 ones and 1 tenths. So, we'll write two ones here, carry over one ten to tens place. Then add the tens. So, six plus one, seven, seven plus eight, fifteen tens. So that is one hundred and five tens. So, five tens will write in tens place. One hundred will carry over to hundreds place. So, then add hundreds place. So, one plus five, six, six plus one, seven so that is seven hundreds so we'll write seven in hundred column so that will be seven hundred and fifty two okay so seven fifty two then the next question two sixty five plus three hundred and ninety seven okay so five plus seven how much is five plus seven it will be twelve so twelve is regrouped as one ten and two ones so, 2 ones carry over 110. Then, adding the tens. 6 plus 1, 7. 7 plus 9, 16. So, that is 16 tens which we regroup as 106 tens. So, 6 tens will write here carry over the 100s to 100s place. Okay, and then here we have 1 plus 2 plus 3. So, when you add them, 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 3 is 6 correct so that is 662 okay so 662 is the answer now uh, for your homework solve the last two problems okay solve the last two problems for your homework on page number 100 and then also as i told on page number 98 the last four problems okay so the last four problems on page 99 and last two problems on page number 100 and i'll give you an additional three four problems which you all can solve for your homework in your notebook so please copy down these questions which i'm writing on the screen okay so that's one two
ओके सो दी द क्वेश्चन इन योर टेक्स्ट बुक एंड देन दीज फोर क्वेश्चन यू ऑल सॉल्व फॉर योर होमवर्क ऑल राइट स्टूडेंट्स थैंक यू ऑल सी ऑल इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास